guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm hunting ammonites, shocker, and I'm looking for ones that still have their shell intact. So I did some hunting yesterday and I found one nice one and then today I'm with my professor and we found some big ones. So I'll flip my camera around so you can see them, but they're just like dotted around on the rock, um, kind of like a pavement of them. So I'll flip around so you can see it. And they're white in color, which is their original shell. But um, when it goes white, it's because the aragonite is breaking down. So um, I'll flip it around, you guys can have a look and then I might try and get one out. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so I'll start off with the more worn away one. So you can see the little one here. And then if I move over here, this is a big one I'm trying to get out because I really like the sort of white on black contrast. And you can see that, and it actually, I didn't think it was complete, but this lifts up. So the mud you see here, it might actually be more there than I think it is. So that might turn out really lovely. So that's one I'm working on currently. And then if I go over here, there's another big one. Oh, my shadow is gonna just make that hard to see. And you can kind of see, I've pulled most of it off, but the seaweed literally attaches to the shell. So they kind of hide under the seaweed. You can kind of see a very covered one here. So it's almost impossible to see them in some places. And then there's nice little ones that are there. There's another, there's a bigger one here which is also quite lovely. So you can, this is what I mean, that it literally is attached to the shell and really, oh, oh, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> the, if only all ammonites lifted out like that, I'll put that down there for now. <laughs> so that's that one. And then you can see some more bits of ammonite here. So obviously the sea does attack these ones here because they are, already exposed but they're holding on quite well so this is a really big one so you can see see it under the mud a bit so if I try and get this one out I will obviously show you guys but I think <laughs> this one may be a bit of a task compared to the nice little ones over here so there's lots lots to do and lots to find so I thought I would share little bits of what I'm finding so I'm gonna now try and get out the one I showed you that I've already started and I will keep you updated on that one. So I thought I'd do a bit of a progress update. The trench is pretty much dug and then I'm going to attempt to lift it off. But I just thought I'd mention the shell here, you can kind of see it's a little bit iridescent, but it's gone mainly white now, which is because the aragonite is breaking down, but it does sometimes have that sort of mother of pearl shimmer. So when this is nicely prepped with a bit of paraloid on top, hopefully it will look amazing. That's the plan anyway, let's hopefully get it out in one piece. I mean, it's right in there, is it gonna? It's a stubborn one. It is, because it's gone from a shady layer into a less shady layer. Yeah. is coming off it now so it should get yes. a fair bit lighter but also it'll make it easier to split the back off if it's a, a, a smaller block yeah because the larger block it's got more chance to split diagonally across easier, easier. 
Easier, yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be nice though. comes out in one piece it's fun. <laughs> I'd say with a one of those bent handles done you nice and you can like trim off the irregularities. Yeah, I kinda like the bumps. <laughs> How's it doing? Nothing split on the front yet. Where's it is it? splitting dodgily. Yeah. I'll remember what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> They're horrible things when they don't split nicely because of all the pieces that come off. Yeah, it's got a crack, doesn't it, at the top? But not on the ammonite yet. <laughs> a stubborn piece. I'm going to stick to the little ones after this. <laughs> <laughs> They're nicer to get out. Hey, it's just not splitting off in easy layers. <laughs> oh look! Oh! It's a little piddock barring the bivalve. Oh, I'm calling Complaining. Shelly. What have you done to my hole? No. Oh. So we managed to get most of it out in one piece, um, so this is the main chunk but it was a nightmare to get the back off, you would have seen in the previous footage that it was just welded on, um, but we've managed to make it a little bit smaller, it's still kind of a chunk but it's it's a nice chunk, so I'm very happy with that and then <laughs> these are all the teeny bits that broke off of the outer world so you can see it here, so I'll take these home, it might be an impossible jigsaw but um, worth having I think, so I'm going to try and package them up carefully because they're so delicate because they're just the very thin bits of shell um, so we'll see how that goes and then I've got this lovely little one that I got out out of frustration of trying to get the big one out I decided to hop to another one and this one came out very nice so yeah, that's so far so I thought I'd show you some more that I found. So I found this gorgeous coarse one where the sea is eroded it a little bit but it kind of makes it look more effective I think, like it kind of stands out a bit more with all the layers below. And then I found this really cute little one but it's so delicate, like that is wafer, th ugh, can't speak, wafer thin. <laughs> but I thought it was, it's got quite a nice shell preservation on this one. So. I think it might, if I can get it home in one piece, it might prep quite beautifully. Excuse the nails, I haven't got any nail varnish on so you can see all the dirt getting under them. Then this one, it just reminded me of a coaster, but it was in the water and I just kind of saw it, like, kind of sparkling at me and it's come out now and it's a little bit meh, but I thought I'd show you guys nonetheless. So I'll probably leave this one, but um, I'll take these ones for now and then obviously I've got the big one in my bag. This is the bit that broke off the big one. So I've got to try and like make that a bit smaller so I can actually carry it because um, with the bigger piece in my backpack I'm just gonna die but that's the fun of fossil hunting. So I've just moved to a different location and this is the first one I've just got out. It came out pretty easily, I just kind of hammered around it and it lifted. Um, it's very thin so quite delicate but you can see the beautiful colours. I don't know if my camera's picking it up but it's just shimmering away. So I need to clean it up a little bit but I'm hoping it's all there underneath that sort of muddy layer so I will do that in another video when I clean them all up and then put Paraloid on but look at that. So I'm back in my car now so I'm driving home it just got so muddy and so hectic at the end of the day and the tide was coming in and my bag was super heavy so I thought I will film the ending in the comfort of my car but you oh 
guys i can't actually believe what i did i i basically locked my keys in my car and now my car it's like an electronic car that's probably really made me sound very amateur about cars which i am but i put my rucksack in the boot with my keys in and shut the boot and my car locked and but then i noticed my car shouldn't do that and it normally like screams at me if the car the keys are in the car and i've shut the door bloody bloody blah, blah, blah and no joke i literally um I, the, I noticed after like having a complete panic because I'm three hours away from my house and my parents that's a six hour round trip to bring me my spare key to unlock the key in my car so I was like stressing out and um, I finally noticed that my boot wasn't fully shut so I shut the boot and then my car started like going like beep 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 and it had unlocked itself and I could get the key out but oh, I had a heart attack it was so stressful and after just carrying all that weight so I've relaxed a bit now. I've taken the mud off my face because I had mud splatters all over me, which that just means a successful fossil hunting trip. So I found quite a lot. I showed you guys a bit of it, but I'm going to get it home. Then I'm going to, you know, prep it a little bit or at least process it. But I will film a video when I do that. So I will keep you guys posted. But yeah, so time to get home and I will order a load of Paraloid, I think, because I don't actually have any. And I think it'll be quite a fun fun prep to do because I need to do it sooner rather than later because they're very fragile but anyway this video is a conclusion so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this little wacky fossil hunting vid video vid god I need to stop abbreviating words but um yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please like and subscribe I hope you're doing well and hopefully you'll stay for more so thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time